Hi guys, it's Brooke going to this video was a another trip of the Norris Turkish Light Lip Gloss and this trip is the NYX Mega Gloss in the shade Pink Frosting and they're like pretty much identical but the only difference I find is the NYX one is more frosty but the Norris one is still kind of frosty but this one has a bit more frost to it and if it's not weird it looks to have the cold and just not feeling too wet, like great should I say so I'll screw that. I've got both lip glosses on, one on each side. Can you guess which one it is? Put it in the comments down below if you can guess which side is which. I'll tell you then but make sure you have that in the comments if you can guess which one's next side and which one's on our side. So they both are very very similar looking like the tubes and all are very very similar. They're like just these kind of square like long lip gloss tubes. The Nars one obviously has like the Nars on it, like the letters, the big Nars letters on like the lid and it's matte black and also the colour you can see like the pale pink, like the pale milky pink colour you can see it for the plastic container. And the next one is similar, only the black is like a shiny typical black and it has like a bow at the top of it. And it has the same kind of clear plastic container and also has the difference it has all the information at the back and the next at the other side, the front should I say. And I think it has a number like or like the name at the very back of it, I'm not really sure, but it's called Pink Frost or Pink Frosting and they're pretty much look identical but like there's differences. I'll swatch them both for you now. Um, this one's an ours. I'm gonna swatch first. So as you can see, this is an ours one. It's kind of like a very like milky pink, pale milky pink color. Has a tiny bit of peach in it, so it's like very flattering and like nearly all skin tones. It's just a really really nice color. And I'll swatch the next one beside it. Now as you can tell, like that's the next one like on the left, it's your left, yeah. The next one is very frosty, like it's a more frosty finish. So they're both very, very similar, only the next one would be like sure not more frosty. But you can build an art one up to be like as frosty as the next one, but they're pretty much the same. So um the textures of these lip glosses are very, very like exactly the same like formula, non-sticky just nice and glossy and also they're just really really similar formula and um yeah the smell the north I can't really smell it, but I smelled it when I didn't have the cold but doesn't really smell of anything like not really that much. I heard the gold um formula of the lip gloss for ours smelled tasted disgusting. Didn't down the old formula so I can't really comment on that. The next one has a very very strong fruity smell so it's really really overpowering like in your face strong. Some people might like that but other people might like just just test that. I love it anyway so I'll see if I can smell it now I'm not sure if I can. Yeah I can still smell it even though I have a cold it's very very fruity. It has a tiny bit of artificial list to it but I don't mind. Bear in mind it does smell like very very fruity and overpowering and it's a nice smell anyway so it's not too bad. So yes, and the wands, both of the wands are like, they're kind of different. The Norris ones are typical, like the, what you call it again, it's like the typical Dofford applicator. Whereas the next one, I'll show you now, it's like a bigger kind of, like, you can tell like here, they're different, but they're still like the Dofford applicator. The next one's like a bigger, kind of slightly more bent one, so it's much, much bigger. So if you have small lips you might not like that applicator but I think it works fine in mine even though I have like not really much of a top lip I have to fill them in over draw it making sure I get them in the right place and I'll go for the price so the price of the Nars one is £19 for like I think it's like 6 millilitres of product so the next one is I think it's like £4 for 11 millilitres of product so you can actually get like a lot more product than the next one you do in the Nars one. So that's good anyway. 
done a review like another trip of the Lars Turkish Light Lip Gloss like about a week ago and that trip was the Makeup Gallery Lip Gloss in the shade Ballet, the Shannon one but this one as you can see I'll have to watch the uh, Makeup Gallery one at the other side of the Lars, oh it's all gone to the <laughs> So the the one on the very right is the makeup gallery and you can see like that one's like a bit more pinker and darker than the other two so the next one's actually a closer to it but on the lips they basically look like really really similar only the next one's a lot more kind of frosty. So I think judging by the last trip, last trip um, I'm going to touch on that now. Last trip has a more similar finish to it, whereas the next one's more of a similar colour, but they're like pretty much really all the same, like on the lips. So, um, yes, in my last video, we kind of went into more depth on what colours, like lipsticks, lip liners, etc., look good underneath these lip glosses. So, if you want to check out the last trip video, it'll be on my channel, and you'll see like what colours I recommend underneath under these lip glosses so yes so before I go I'm going to mention what lip gloss I have on each side so my left and your right I have one the Nars Turkish Light on this side of my face and my right your left I have on the next mega gloss in pink frosting so yeah did you guess right um if you guessed right then just comment below like what one you thought anyway as I told you before so yeah that's what it looked like on the lips so yes okay so that was my review and i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in the next one also happy new year it's january 2nd i'm recording this on so i'm not sure when this will be up because i've got another video that will go up before this so it could be like in the next week or something like that i'm not sure but it's january 2nd now so happy new year and i hope you had a good christmas and a good new year and I hope, hope you didn't mind, like, my voice is very, like, croaky and yes. Bye, guys. Stay gorgeous.